Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So, you want mods on Bone Lab, but you don't want to get a developer account? Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. Today, I'm going to show you how to get mods in Bone Lab on the Quest 2, if you have any regular PC, laptop, or even Mac. Meaning you don't need a gaming PC, and it will be super easy to do. If you don't have a computer, then watch my no PC tutorial, but you will need an Android phone for that. You can become John Wick, Batman, Spider-Man, or even Goku. Plus, you can even get different levels. Not only that, if you don't have this game or want another Quest 2 game for free, remember our royal giveaway is on right now, where I will be giving away any game on the Quest when the winner gets to choose. To enter, simply like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notifications and comment hashtag KingWackman down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. So, firstly, you will need a cable to be able to connect your Quest to your computer. Any data transfer USB to USB-C should work like a charging cable. So, let's first download the mods we want. To do that, just go on to your internet browser and type mods.io. Then click on Browse Games. Then search for Bone Lab. Next, find a mod that you like. We will be going for a Goku avatar and a level mod, which is the shipment for COD4, just to show you how that works. Once you have found a mod that you like, click on it and find where it says Live Files. Then click on Android. Now, please note, sometimes Android and Windows files are combined. That's fine, as you will download both. However, if it doesn't have an Android file, then it won't work on the Quest. Once you've clicked on Android, then press the zip file, and that should start the download. Do this for all your mods. Now, if you don't have an application to extract zip files, you will need to download and install that. I use WinRAR, it's free and it's easy, so if you don't have it, just Google WinRAR and install the application. Once you have the ability to unzip files, find the zipped mods that you downloaded and then unzip them. You can delete the zip files if you want afterwards. Now we need to connect your Quest 2 and your computer using the cable. And then in the Quest headset, press allow to allow the file access. That will open up the Quest files folder. So what we need to do here is transfer the mods into the Bone Lab mods folder. To locate the mods folder, click on internal storage, then Android, then data, then find com.stresslevel0.bonelab. It's alphabetical, so it will be near the bottom. Then click on files, then mods, now here is where you need to save the mods folder. However, you need to check how many folders the mod is in. If it is in multiple, you will need to save the one that is only one level above the mods. As can be seen in the video, otherwise it won't work. If you downloaded the mod with both Windows and Quest, just select the Quest version and do the same. And that's it. Now you have your mods installed. Now if you want to change your avatars, this can be done from the avatar section in the lab. If you want to play on different levels, then go to the mods section in the lab. And that's it. Now you can have an amazing time with mods. Ford can be the Joker and you can be Batman beating the living daylights out of him. So enjoy. You know this video deserves a like and a subscribe. Plus I'll be coming out with a lot more mod videos for this game. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time.